Louisiana Beer Reviews. Here we are at 7.30 a.m. Yeah, it's early, but I uh, have something to do this morning, and I wanted to get it done. Uh, this is Urban South's Charming Wit, a light-hearted white ale. And there's the bow tie and the seersucker suit. Although on this side, they show a white suit with like a plaid shirt. Uh, but, you know, uh, they say it's kind of modeled after some raconteur or some guy that's charming is at the bar all the time. Sort of like Tennessee Williams used to be in the French Quarter in New Orleans. Uh, 4.9, or Cartwright Eustace at Yale College Inn. 4.9% alcohol, 20 international bitterness units. These beers are canned. They might be on draft. Also, this company started issuing beers in 2016. They're on Chapatula Street, um, right down the, right up the street from, uh, no, they're down river. Okay, so they're down the street from um, NOLA, New Orleans Lager and Ale Company, which was founded in 2009, and I got to go on a tour there. I have to go check out this uh, Urban South. I'll put it in this Aventinus wheat. Aventinus glass. Um, I have a four set. These are beautiful glasses. I have a four of them. And it cost me a total of one dollar. Not one dollar a glass. One dollar. One dollar total at. Um, I think I need to adjust this camera, sorry. You'll see a little shaking. One dollar at a garage sale, yeah. That might be better. Um, anyway. So, thick white head, a little spongy, crackling as you could hear. It looks like it's a gray yellow with the sun. It's coming up, the sun is getting close to coming above that tree line that huge oak tree, so you're going to see that. Um, very fierce bubble stream, typical wheat. Um, still kind of gray yellow with the sun shining at it. No clouds in the sky today. There were some last night, but none today. It's going to be warm, probably in the low 90s. If it rains, maybe the high 80s. Enough of the weather report. I would like to try some of the other Urban South beers. I bought this at the 504 store, but they are selling them at Mathern's right here locally also. Uh, it's pungent. It's bready. They use coriander, orange peel, and they say grapefruit peel. But they don't really give any other information about it, just the 20 IBU. 20 IBU is a little higher than normal for a wheat beer. See the grass is high. I mean, I cut it not even a week ago, but after two days it looks shabby. With this heat and the rain, it's going to grow like crazy, crazy, crazy. But I'm going to go eight days on. I've been cheating and going eight days instead of every week. And I can shave off a couple of weeks of cutting every year. Okay, so pungent, bready. in that wheat beer aroma that I never can describe, but it's like a full nose of something. It's hard to pin down. You might say, you don't really do a very good job at describing beer, do you know that? Yeah, I've always known that. I'm just trying to uh, you know, enunciate it as best I can or explain it the best way I can. These. They almost have like a little smokiness. It's hard to describe. Picking up a little of the citrus peel. Coriander in the undertaste. It's like as you start to exhale, the coriander comes into play. Yeah, the bitterness seems about 20. Not too bitter, probably what? Two out of five hop cones on the Cyclops scales, probably three out of five hop cones for the sweetness. The body's 
high, medium, soft, like wheat beers are. Not too much of the tap water in this one. You do get a lot of that tap water, oftentimes with the wheat beers. The finish is medium dry and it's easy going. Um, I guess for a wit, this is nice. Um, not my style, but some people just love wheat beers. I'm not one of those people. And I have no animosity towards it. It's just not my thing. Um, it's um, I guess a B plus. It's very good. I don't know about excellent. Just like with the. Uh, little smack this is the first video review for this beer in the world apparently these the distribution for this is starting to really get big so and it's not the stick on label it's the actual printed label so they got a little higher quality thing going on there so <clears throat> lazy la oh yeah look at that gray descending cloud that you'll get Gives it a little more spiciness, yeah. So, Les Le Bon Ton Roulé, a very good beer. I don't think it's excellent, though. But, and you, what are the craft beer prices now? It would be like $10.99 for a six pack. Okay, if you want to do that, if you want to do that, y'all come on down to New Orleans.